Right. Hello, everybody. Uh, let me read you this letter. It says, Dear Peter, kids are discouraged from attempting to make art due to not having access to any art supplies. My challenge for you is this. Make beautiful art using nothing but what all school children have. Number two pencils and notebook paper. I have supplied you with standard number two school pencils, a pencil sharpener and erasers, and notebook paper. You are a great inspiration to many young artists. Please prove anyone can make art even if they have only very basic tools to work with. Thank you for your videos and have a great day. From RLS0812. You know, thank you RLS0812. Um, as you can see here, I've already started sharpening one of these pencils, a number two pencil, and here we have a composition notebook, uh, which he has been so kind to already put my name on. These notebooks really take me back. Oh, there we go. Uh, you know, it's typical. How many times does this happen to anyone else? You're sharpening your pencil and the lead comes out? Like, what's the deal with that? How, can, how do I for avoid that happening? That's it. I mean, that, that, that really takes me back. I, anyways, but I really agree with what RLS0812 or whatever his name was saying. You really don't need really fancy art supplies to, um, to make fancy art. Maybe I'll use this side of the pencil sharpener. It makes a blunter, a blunter sh sh shape to the tip there. It'll still work. I did a lot of drawing. Most of my beginning to all my drawing stuff was in. I think this will work. Was in school. I don't think I'm going to really use these erasers, but I want to open them and smell them anyways. Anyway, so let's begin here. Peter draws composition. I'm going to fold the back back. And, uh, we can just start right here, scribbling away. Just just like so. You don't need fancy art supplies. Fancy art supplies are just like a little, they're like a little luxury. You don't need them. You can just go on doing your own thing. And so I did go on and do my own thing. Using these art supplies really did take me back to all the time I spent drawing and doodling in school, even from a young age. I remember buying so many of those little composition notebooks for school. They would be on all the supply lists you needed, and I was never sure what the deal was with those. Like, why why those books? And why did those books always have those weird, like, black and white cow patterns on the front? Like, what's the deal with those? Why do those have those patterns on the front and no other notebooks do, do? And why do teachers want you to get those notebooks and not spiral-bound notebooks? Spiral-bound notebooks are nice because you can tear pages out. And because if you tear pages out of these ones, the respective, like, a, like its, its twin page would fall out of the back. Or maybe that's why. Uh, I, I don't know. Anyways, these, those notebooks always kind of bugged me. These composition notebooks. Partly because I liked college ruled pages and these ones were usually wide ruled. That that was just like a thing I had. I liked college ruled paper because I liked writing smaller. So sometimes if I could only had wide ruled paper, I would I would try writing two lines per line. Anyways, I got a little carried away. But I did a lot of doodling in school. I think a lot of people did. A lot of the a lot of my friends would even doodle in school. It was just like a thing that you did. No, no one thought, considered themselves artists. Some people did, you know. They, I mean, well, I think a lot of people did, but, but nobody, like, did anything serious with it, you know. It was a very casual, fun, lighthearted artistry, and, and I enjoyed it. I remember sitting around, like, sometimes our, our, our school bus took us to, got us to school too early, so we'd all sit in the cafeteria or... Just a roundabout, everyone kind of loitered in school waiting for the bell to ring to start school. And some of us would sit around sketching and doodling random, just, I don't even remember what we were drawing. But it was in and with supplies like these. No, Nobody had, you know, at, at those times, nobody had Copic, Copic markers and, and fancy watercolor pens. We just had notebook paper and pencils. Now this pencil on it says number two, 
slash HP. I remember number two was like, that's the popular common type of pencil that, you know, everybody had to have in school. For some reason, number two, that's just the golden standard. Not, not even golden, that makes it more sound more fancy than it really is. That's just the, the standard. That's just what everyone had, right? You had to have it for testing. You couldn't even fill in a bubble, you know, like standardized test unless you had a number two pencil. Otherwise, everyone just assumed that all, all your answers would automatically be graded as super wrong. Not just wrong, but you would get like negative points. That everyone, I'm, even though I'm like almost completely sure that if you had just a slightly different pencil, everything would have been fine. But you know how they were with standardized testing. It was just like, everyone was just like crazy about it. I was not, I didn't enjoy that. Um, anyways, but this is a HB pencil, which is like uh, right in the middle, kind of kind of right in the middle as far as like lead goes. You know, if you wanna, which is pretty good as far as, maybe that's why they chose it, because right in the middle. You can get other things um, if you, you know, you can get like sets of pencils, drawing pencils um, that have, that draw lighter lines and darker lines if it has like, uh, you know, like H's next to it, like 9H, 8H, 5H, 2H, you know, that means it draws, uh, the lead is harder, and it draws lighter lines, and then if it has a B next to it, uh, you know, 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, to 9B, that means it's, the lead is softer, and it draws blacker lines, deeper, it's better, I mean, not necessarily better, but, I don't know, you, you choose different leads, uh, and stuff for like that for different situations. But the, the HB, the number two pencil, I don't know why it's called number two, but it's really an HB pencil. I've, it's it's different with each company, really. So you really just, you, you, you can buy like a little set of pencils, you know, like medium pencils, dark pencils, fine pen, whatever you want to do. But I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But each company is different anyway. So it's not like there's like one standard and they're all like equal. Just buy some pencils. Or just use the number two pencil. What, what am I even saying? Anyways. Good. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, just this. You don't need fancy stuff. Fancy stuff is nice and fancy. And uh, cool. Alright. Oops. Goodbye. <laughs>